Get access to exclusive tutorials and take your paracord weaving to the next level by supporting this channel on Patreon. Hey what's going on guys, Tim here again. Got one last Christmas tutorial for you and we are doing a spiral paracord Christmas wreath in today's tutorial. That's what we're doing so let's get into it. So to start out I've got my first piece of paracord for my core. I've got the midpoint up top. And now I've got my other two colors, the strawberry fields and green, melted and linked together. And we're gonna start by tying a single cobra knot. I'm gonna take the strawberry fields color, I'm gonna lay it over the core, as we would start a bracelet almost. But uh, you're gonna start this uh, really close to the top, maybe less than about maybe a quarter of an inch loop up top. Okay, strawberry fields over the core, green behind that, and through the loop on the strawberry fields side. Okay. So close that up and I'm going to try to keep the melted point behind everything just to kind of hide it. And I'm going to make that loop up top uh, pretty small, as you can see. Again, about, you know, half a centimeter or so, quarter of an inch. Now we're going to continue tying the wreath. And we're doing the spiral pattern. It's also, I guess, known as maybe like the helix pattern or DNA pattern. And we're going to continually take the right side strand and tie cobra knots so normally with a cobra knot you would always use the same lead strand but we're not doing the cobra knot we're doing the spiral so green this time goes over the core and red or sorry the other color through the loop and pull it shut so it's going to be alternating between the uh, the red color and the green so now again see red over the core tie that single cobra knot like so and as you continue to tie this pattern, always tying with the right side strand, it's going to start rotating and forming that spiral pattern. Okay. So that's the pattern you're going to continue tying uh, all the way around your uh, wreath here. Okay. So continue tying that pattern. Um, and depending on how large you want your wreath, you can leave maybe, I'd say, anywhere from two to three inches excess on the other side because we're going to feed that end through the uh, loop on the other side to make the wreath circle so yeah just continue tying those knots uh, pretty much all the way down your core and leave a few inches on the end to complete the wreath so come down to the end here just tying one last cobra knot and I do have quite a bit of excess here. You don't need that much excess uh, core strands on the end, but I just happen to uh, use that amount. And now you're going to feed those ends through the loop on the other side, like so. And just try to hold everything closed together. Now we're going to tie one more or maybe a couple more uh, Cobra knots. So you're going to lay the strand across the core. But this time I want those two strands to come out uh, above that green strand there. That's going to kind of help lock everything in place. So see, I just tied a cobra knot and I pulled those excess strands and part of that loop as well through the, um, the green loop there. And I'm just going to pull it tight. And after that, I'm just going to tie one more cobra knot this time with the red strand and that should uh, lock everything in place nice and tight. So we are now done working with the two main working cords so you can clip off the green, snip and melt it as well as the other uh, red and white strand. Next, we'll be doing the bow part of the wreath. So on the front side, I've got uh, my third piece of paracord on a fid. I'm just going to stick it underneath these two strands here. 
So if you followed my method, you should have a couple of strands on the front like I do here. And you're just going to get that third piece of paracord in the middle like so. And as you can see, we're going to kind of bend them over to form that kind of a bow looking shape. So you just want to make sure that cord is in the mid midpoint and you have equal amounts of paracord on both sides. So next I've got some micro cord on my smallest vid and I'm going to go in behind that red strand. And I think at this point you can even go through a couple of those core strands. It might be a bit tighter and more secure. So I'm just going in behind that strand and I'm going to use this to kind of tie the bow shape together. So I'm making a loop like so. All right. And before you pull it shut, I'm going to take the strand on the right, bend it and loop it over like that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side, with the strand on the left. So feed those ends through that loop you just created, and then we can pull it shut. Okay, and from there, you're going to again, continue those loops and just wrap it around a few times. And that's going to make that, um, that paracord bow shape nice and secure. All right, so just loop it around same direction and pull it tight. I'm just gonna do that about uh, anywhere from four to five times. And to finish it off, I'm going to take the end of par the end of the paracord that's coming out the front, and I'm just going to find any knot will do, um, as long as you can get it to come out the back like so. You, that's all you want to do. So it doesn't matter where you place it; just feed it through to the back. Now with that second white micro cord strand, I just ended up um, sticking that out the back as well, just so it's nice and hidden. And from here, we can snip and melt all our excess cords. So those two red core strands, I'm going to snip and melt as well as the two white micro cord strands. And lastly, if those um, bow strands, if they're uneven or anything like that, you want to change the length of them, you're not happy, you can adjust that as well. And I'm just going to snip off a little bit of those end strands because I want the bow shape a little bit shorter. All right, there we have it. We are done. That is the spiral paracord wreath, Christmas wreath. And uh, yeah, just in time, this will be the last Christmas tutorial we'll be doing for this year. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And of course, if you're not, uh, and of course, you know, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it either way. And I just hope you guys all enjoy your holiday season. Remember guys, I do run a Patreon page to support this channel. Uh, if you want, if you guys like this video, please feel free if you guys like this video, feel free to consider supporting directly on Patreon to get access to exclusive tutorials. Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.